Memorial Day weekend is one of Kansas' biggest boating events. Listen as Kansas Wildlife and Parks Fisheries biologist Craig Johnson and Mike Morgan, owner of Shady Creek Marina Sales and Service at El Dorado Reservoir, tell how to keep things running smoothly at Kansas boat ramps. Well, there's probably more divorces and fist fights caused at boat ramps due to people not being prepared when they come to the lake to load and unload their boat. But a little preparation will save all that hassle and hopefully we can tell you some stuff today that'll uh, lessen the stress of getting your boat in and out of the water. Okay, the, the, the most important thing on holiday weekends at the boat ramp is boat, boat ramp etiquette. So before you ever pull your boat down to put in the launch sequence, meaning getting in line to use the boat ramp, you've already untarped your boat, you've already made sure your battery's charged, the boat's ready to start, you've got your drain plug in, your gear loaded in your boat, so you spend the least amount of time on the boat ramp as possible. It probably will take you a minute, a minute and a half to back in the water, start your boat, warm up your boat for a few minutes before you pull it off the trailer. Never unhook the boat from the trailer until after you've had the boat running in the water for a little bit. Then go to the front, unstrap it, go to the back, pull it off. Your, your uh, vehicle driver will go park your trailer, then you can pick them up at the courtesy ramp. Shouldn't take more than a minute, two minutes at the most. For solo boaters who don't have a driver, it's a bit more complicated to back up, climb into and start the boat, unhook it from the trailer, park the boat at the courtesy dock, and then walk back to the vehicle to park the trailer. In this case, which takes extra time, having the boat fully prepared to launch is even more crucial. On a, on a busy holiday weekend, we'll easily have 100 to 150 boats and trailers using this boat ramp for launching and loading their boats. Um, the parking lot will be full, the overflow lot will be full, and you may even have 15 or 20 in a line at one time to load and unload their boat. That's when the boat ramp etiquette becomes so important. Both these boating experts advise practice backing a trailer before trying it at a ramp. They've seen examples where drivers attempted backing their boats 15 to 30 times while others waited. And don't be afraid to offer or take help if it's needed. Don't be bashful at the boat ramp. See if people need help. My wife backs my trailer in the water, and if there's a, a gentleman around uh, that would do it quicker and straighter, she would love the help. Morgan has these pointers for loading the boat at the end of a trip. The secret to loading the boat, two things, have a straight approach, so you line up 50 yards out straight, drive right onto the trailer, don't have the trailer too far in the water. Therefore, you want to see about a foot of those bunks out of the water. Use the, the cradle of the trailer to straighten the boat. You drive right on. You power the boat up to the bow stop. A lot of times, if you're on a steep angle, you'll leave your engine running. You go to the front of the boat. You hook your, your safety strap at your bow stop. You go to the back to the driver's helm, pull it in neutral, shut it off, trim the drive up. Then you tell your, your partner to go ahead and pull you out of the water. And an all-important final step, especially at El Dorado and any lake where zebra mussels or other aquatic nuisance species exist. When you, when you clean, drain, and dry your boat, of course, you pull it off the boat ramp. You pull up in the parking lot out of the way as not to congest traffic and uh, take your time. Have a good holiday. Enjoy boating this weekend. I'm Mike Blair for Kansas Wildlife and Parks.